Hello and welcome to ILTV's Israel Daily. I'm Aaron Porras, and before we begin, we want to remind you again that for more of the best content from Israel, sign up today for our streaming platform, ILTV+. Now, coming up in today's newscast, Israeli authorities officially sounding the alarms of war and calling on all citizens to evacuate Ukraine. Meantime, major clashes erupting again in the Flashpoint Jerusalem neighborhood of Sheikh Jarrah. And finally, two steps forwards, but one step back in relations with the UAE. Israeli El Al Airlines drastically cutting its number of flights to Dubai, citing unmet security concerns. To begin, tensions rising to a near fever pitch along the western Russian-Ukraine border. Israel Prime Minister Naftali Bennett then now officially calling on all Israeli citizens in Ukraine to prepare for immediate evacuation. In a rare Shabbat cabinet meeting, Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett expressing the latest alarm at events unfolding on the Ukraine-Russia border. This following American and NATO warnings that a Russian invasion of Ukraine could come before the end of the Winter Olympics and in as few as the next few days. Bennett then following the West's lead and urging all Israeli citizens to take advantage of the supposed calm before the storm. Diplomats and their families having already begun their evacuations. אנחנו לא יודעים מה יהיו ההתפתחויות בימים הקרובים בין רוסיה לאוקראינה. כמו כל העולם, אנחנו מקווים שהמתיחות תסתיים ללא הסלמה. אבל חובתנו הראשונה היא לדאוג לאזרחים שלנו, האזרחים הישראלים. לכן במהלך השבת, שר החוץ ואני והצוותים שלנו, דאגנו להגביר מאוד את קצב הטיסות לישראל, ואני קורא פה שוב לישראלים באוקראינה. Now, on top of increasing civilian flights, though, Israeli officials also rushing to update their list of citizens in the country by requesting that all Israelis in Ukraine register with the foreign ministry. And additionally, Defense Minister Gantz instructing the IDF to prepare to extract Israelis amidst an active Russian invasion. According to the Israeli foreign ministry, some 15,000 Israelis are estimated to be living in Ukraine. Only about 4,500 have registered with the ministry thus far. Joining us now with more on the Russian threat of invasion, Chief Rabbi of Kiev in Ukraine, Rabbi Jonathan Benjamin Markovich. Rabbi, thanks so much for joining us. You know, what, what are the feelings on the ground right now in your community? First of all, good afternoon to you and all of the, to all of the Israeli people and the Israeli uh, that in Israel and not just in Israel. Uh, we have a difficult situation here. It's not simple. It, it, it's, it's a problematic situation, but we are strong and we are together and we think that everything will be okay. Have, have you and had... We are here. So have you had any contact with government officials, Ukrainian, Israeli, or otherwise? Yes, of course, with the Israeli and the Ukraine, of course, and even the American government and the American em embassy here in Ukraine. What, what are they advising you to do? Or, you know, what, what sort of preparations are you working with them on? Of course, I understand the Israeli government asked us to go to Israel back and not just us, all of the Israeli citizens. Uh, the American uh, embassy asked all the American citizens to go back to, to the States. And the Ukraine government asked ask all of the Jewish, or not just Jewish people, to stay in Ukraine, not to be fighting, mm. not to fight, uh, to stay here. So, you know, speaking of, speaking of uh, you know, the Jewish population, I understand that there's some 200,000 Jewish Ukrainians who live in the States. 
uh, and may or may not have a dual citizenship elsewhere. You know, they've been advised, as you said, by Israel to, to look into expedited... To watch full episodes of ILTV's Israel Daily and tons of other content from Israel, visit our website at ILTV.tv or download the ILTV Plus app.